Hello everyone, in this video I'll be sharing how we can increase student engagement in an online teaching environment. I know it's not easy, but I hope these tips can help you to improve student engagement in your online teaching journey. The first tip is to establish teaching presence. I think this is very crucial. In fact, a lot of lecturers or educators tend to assume the teaching presence that they have in a face-to-face -face mode is automatically activated when they go online. Unfortunately, it's not. In a normal face-to-face -face mode, teaching presence is established by having you standing in front, the student facing you, you're in control of the classroom setting, and that presence is felt. In an online mode, however, everyone seems to be equal. In fact, you might be thinking that I'm a student if you just look at me from a webcam view in an online class, for example. So how do you establish teaching presence in an online environment? First, you have to establish that you are in control of the online setting. It means you have to be very comfortable with the tool that you have chosen and be very comfortable with the content that you want to deliver online. For example, if you're using certain software to do live class like this, you yourself have to be comfortable first. The moment you go online and you start to be fumbling and clicking here and there, your teaching presence will drop and the student will start to be uh, losing interest in continuing the session. So make yourself ready and comfortable with the tools and content that you want to deliver online so that you can increase the teaching presence and your your ability to deliver the teaching will get even more uh, more effective or better. The second tip is to focus on your MVP, your most valuable points. I'm not saying that you just put that in point form. I'm, I'm trying to tell you that um, Throughout your content, there should be the key things that you want them to focus on, uh, you want your student to focus on. So try your best to make sure that the moment you go online, you focus on these valuable parts rather than going through slide one until the last slide for one to three hours. I mean, that's going to kill their interest to sustain them for so long. So uh, try your best to chunk your content well and focus on the valuable points. In fact, for example, you can put your slides up first let them have a quick go through and then when you engage them online like this uh, through an online uh, direct teaching mode then you can deal with the questions that they want to ask you. The third tip is to make sure that your teaching delivery is activities driven. Focus more on the activity so you can have your content for 20 minutes and then activities 20 minutes activities. Sometimes when you have a lot of activities the student um, did not even realize that they have spent more than two or three hours sometimes because there's so many activities and it, it keeps them engaged so but of course i'm not asking you to do for so long just that activities just like in face-to-face -face mode are very useful and encouraging your learners to be more engaged so make use of the available tools online there's so many tools online you can refer to the link that i'm giving you down here for some sample but uh, what matters is not about what you cover, you know, it's more on what you uncover. Let the learning happen by using more activities. Don't be too worried about, okay, can I cover the whole unit, you know, like 80 slides, how do I cover them? Focus on the activities that will make it more meaningful. All right, those are the three tips that I can offer you. Uh, again, it's not an exhaustive uh, tips. You have so many other references but these are the three main tips that I can offer you based on my own experience teaching online at the same time um, you know based on my reading as well so hopefully it will help you to kickstart your online teaching um, mode or kickstart your online teaching experience uh, if you have any comments or questions you can ask me down here in the comment box and I'll be more than happy to assist you thank you very much happy teaching